you know what? The video actually starts like something like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can demonstrate how we start the video, Jacob. It's hand. I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, yes, started. here we go. This is the nine millimeter energy drink. All right, Jacob. So, uh, well, are we gonna do both flavors at once? I guess we could do a double review because, I mean, Same sometimes you need to do that. Yeah. So Jacob, why don't you tell us about the drink since you since you provided it? Uh, why don't you uh, um, explain it to us where you got it? it and the story I got it, it in Quebec actually, yeah. and I don't know. I just thought it looked cool. I never saw you guys do it, so here we go. Very cool. Very considerate of you, I have to say. I saw these. For sure. We're Canadian, but we don't speak fucking French. Yeah, sure. That's a point you can bring up. Another point we can bring up is. A couple years ago, if you guys are, if any of you are long-time subscribers, you may remember a couple year, years ago I was in Germany and I got a bunch of drinks to review there. I filmed some there, and then I filmed some when I got home. I saw both of these when I was in Germany a few years ago, and I have not seen them since then, and I had not seen them before then. One's regular, one's sugar-free. The silver one's a sugar-free. This is actually sorry. As far as we know. It, well, no, it says here, right here, lower sugar, in English. Um, but they just they put the French first on this, and the, the French is kind of like the primary language on these cans. So, yeah. But yeah, so this one seems to be the regular. This one seems to be lower sugar, as you can see. If you want to focus in on that. Yeah. And uh, we'll crack them open. Take that one, and then we'll uh, do some passing around of the uh, bodily fluids and uh, various <laughs> diseases we may be carrying. Um, so let's, uh, let's do it. So you got the sugar-free one in your hands right now, or the low sugar. I, I keep saying sugar-free, it's probably... Smells like... NOS or Red Bull. Mine smells... Let's, uh, let's give her a taste. It's mostly just your kind of generic energy drink flavor. But it's not like a bad generic energy drink flavor. Like, it's not... It's not like a disappointing one, you know? It's not like... What are your thoughts? This one it tastes literally just like the other, the old Red Bull, the Crestine Dang stuff, except like maybe a little watered down. A little watered down, and the carbonation really changes it too, I think. <laughs> oh, it has a great aftertaste. Here, we'll let you on to this. It's just that generic energy drink flavor, you know? It's kind of a bit of like original Rockstar, a bit of original Red Bull, that kind of thing. Yeah. Now try both of them and uh, see what you think. Sugar, the, the low sugar one's got a bit of a different taste. But that's with everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kind of like Red Bull. Yeah, the yeah. sugar free one's closer to a Red Bull, I'd say. Um, yeah. Not bad at all. Good can design. Uh, were they expensive? No, it was like two or four. Oh, okay. That, so, so it's not like a, it's not a crazy like rip off or anything. Yeah. Standard. Yeah, it's pretty standard. The taste is pretty standard. Not really crazy on the good spectrum and not really crazy on like the bad side of things it's average yeah it's just pretty average i'd give it like a, maybe a 6.5 mm. what do you what do you say jacob oh i'd say like a five it tastes like a discount energy drink like a red rain or something so like 5.5 5. <laughs> okay so we can round that right out to uh what six. you said five i yeah. said six point like a five point five yeah it's five point seven five sure whatever six. um so now, now that we've got this review done, it's uh, time, time, it's time to move on to something else. So uh, cut the camera off, please.